Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do a reading for you. This reading will be for the next 48 hours. Um, it could extend beyond 48 hours. It could be going on now. I don't know. But anyhow, thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so let's see what's going on for you in the next 48 hours. What's going on for the Aquarius in the next 48 hours? Okay, first card of occupation. So some of you just working really hard. And I was getting that off camera. Some, some of you are going to work during the holiday if you celebrate if you celebrate the Christmas uh, holiday, you will be working. Um, with some of you, you work for yourself, so your business will be open or you are the business, you are the owner and the employee, so you will be working, working through the holiday. Something about working on something also, something that you love to do. It's your occupation. This talks about hobbies, piecemeal work, um, freelance work, of course, your own business here waiting for the harvest to come in you've done something big or you put a lot out and you're waiting for the return all right so for the next 48 hours, okay we've got a message coming in for you good news message also um something that you want to hear could be coming in we said 48 hours seven hours seven days but typically this card talks about seven days maybe you'll hear something in the next 48 hours yeah because you're expecting something with the expectation card here you've been waiting you've been waiting for something to change you've been calm you've been peaceful about this you have um put in your mind that it will happen uh in due time you have given up the fight the struggle um and you've been wow you've been waiting at the bottom of the deck is sudden wealth so some of you could be waiting for or you are waiting for uh wealth to come into you maybe some money yeah we've got the privileged lady it's like um because it goes from 11 to 12 it's like sudden wealth this could be news of money this could be a message coming from someone who wants to make you their wife or girlfriend because then we have the lovers we also have unexpected income so money comes in also a big money message here but also a message of maybe i'm um, partnering with someone who can offer you better or better men or a better life or a better way or maybe investment here somebody wants you to hear hear them out judication here because they've been thinking of you heavily some of you are going to get some very nice gifts wow for you might get a gift from the universe great fortune and gift together a gift from the universe a gift from a person whatever it is it's going to bring you a lot of fortune um, it's going to be long lasting here. And, and this card specifically talks about around the holidays, receiving a gift again of, you know, from a person, something that is presented to you an offer. This also can talk about reconciliation. So there's somebody who wants to reconcile with you, someone who wasn't doing bad. I mean, someone who wasn't doing well, the, there may, the health could be bad or their health is bad or your health is declining. There's something about the relationship being over. You know, um, someone wasn't doing well with the relationship being over, with you closing the door, locking it on them. It looks like they want to journey back to you. They want to come back. So this it could be a holiday about reconciliation. It could be about, um, I would say family, but I, it could be family. But we did have the lovers in there. So it definitely could be romantic. Um, this could be someone who you have a significant relationship with or connection to they could be resurfacing okay the holidays always bring things people places back into perspective for all of us and maybe someone has had a different perspective a change in perspective maybe even in personality in terms of relationships and the relationship with you so it's like this person wants to present something to you um represent themselves differently is what i'm hearing um they could have changed uh, maybe that it was the death of that bad health that bad behavior uh, maybe of keeping the relationship stagnant in terms of maybe sex only because this card sometimes talks about a sex only connection or sex 
What can we tell the Aquarius? Oops, sorry, guys. It's my wrapping tape. I've been in here wrapping. Um, let's see. What can we tell Aquarius? Okay. Yeah, Ten of Swords. Somebody was just not able to cope with the fact that this was over. Um, also, somebody could have gotten it. You know, this bad behavior, this this negativity, this um, playing the victim, the scapegoat, not having good intentions, it could be over. It says a tough time is over in the Ten of Swords, a curse, a curse time, uh, a time of conflict, a volatile time. Maybe the relationship with someone was very volatile. You didn't know what you were going to get. It could have been physical violence. I'm hoping that it wasn't. Um, but volatile in terms of you don't know what it's going to be from day to day, from week to week. You don't know if you're going to be together. If it's going to be, you know, that you're getting ghosted or they're going to change their ways in terms of you and the relationship. Or this was you, Aquarius. Somebody put something to an end. Um, a very negative way of being to an end also. yeah. Six of coins. So somebody wants to show you their affection by way of gift, gifting you something the six of coins talks about gifts gifts of money or you know a physical gift i'm showing uh their affection by way of giving a gift also the power dynamic has changed here in this relationship in terms of maybe this person used to have the power and the connection and now you do you have the upper hand in terms of bringing it back together they're waiting for a sign from you something from you to give them you know, indication that you're still open to this. You're still uh, holding out or you're still empress. Yeah, you have the power here. Um, maybe to bring this back into fruition, back into creation. You also could be getting, you know, news of money. A tough time in your life, Aquarius, is over. Money could be coming into you. It's going to make you blossom. You're going to be the empress. You're going to live a lap of luxury. You're going to be able to purchase things, make a large purchase, purchase five of wands. Looks like people will be talking. There'll be some pettiness. There'll be some competition. There'll be some drama. There'll be people fighting to get in your business to, to understand what it is you're doing. You also could have people fighting over you. Um, somebody wants an answer. They don't want to be hanging on too long. They want to know what you're going to do. Yeah. Knave of wands or the page of wands. You're definitely getting good news about maybe a large sum of money. This, whatever is coming into you, is going to allow you to live life on your terms. The Page of Wands talks about doing what you want to do when you want to do it. The Page of Wands talks about good news about a new business, job promotion, a new career. Uh, of course, good news about money. Um, it, also, it could talk about a whirlwind romance. There could be some friskiness in the air, okay? So you and someone else could have a makeup session here. You know, um, of course sex will happen it says ground the energy if you want it to last because with the page of wands and the five of wands it could be an energy of um in and out you know um it goes really fast and then it fizzles out really quickly also all right what else do we have for the aquarius the queen of swords so yeah you could be asking someone what are their intentions for resurfacing coming back together why are they messaging you someone could send you a message of exploration just trying to see how far they can go with you you know i'm just trying to explore and they'll be met with the queen of swords this could be you aquarius you will be uh, very direct very firm in in letting them know that you have cut off all things old ties to things that just don't serve you that have no value in your life therefore you need to understand what are their intentions before you move forward two of cups uh so someone could be saying this is cancer energy someone could be saying i want to reconcile i want to come back together uh they're seeking a one-on-one -on -one relationship now uh, somebody misses the platonic nature of the relationship the friendship Somebody also could want to marry you. Uh, they want forgiveness, healing this severed tie. So something about a tie being severed, like, look, okay, so when you sever something, you cut it, right? And then the queen of swords has a sword out. So somebody wants to heal the severed tie. So whomever you, you cut ties with, they, they're coming back around. Um, 
they feel like you're the perfect partner. It's mutually beneficial for you two to be together. It just works. Uh, what else do we have here for the Aquarius, the Hierophant? This person could have gone and got some type of guidance or they got uh, in guidance in terms of what you mean to them. They're listening to that inner voice uh, by way of, um, again, something about guidance or guiding or a guiding light. Somebody's understanding that, um, you know, you're a like-minded individual something works with you somebody's understanding the chemistry but outside of the chemistry of the connection they're understanding the divinity so the divinity in the chemistry okay um they're understanding that you know you are their partner their counterpart with you two not being together not being in relation with one another it says the universe was trying to work on you two individually, separately, so that they can bring two very different people back together. Hmm. The Seven of Swords. Uh, this person could... What is the Seven of Swords before I go into that? The Four of Wands. I knew it. This person could have been masquerading like they didn't care about uh, the, the relationship about your feelings, how they act in in terms of interpersonal relationships and connection is aloof, is to act very uh, self-centered or self-serving or as if they're the lone wolf, but all, all together they were the four of wands. They knew that you were their perfect match, uh, that they wanted to be with you. This person also could be acting as if they didn't want the reconciliation but they they want it extremely they want it solely they were waiting for the perfect time maybe for their self-esteem to change their personality to change they were waiting for money to come in there's also an energy of aquarius there's something you're doing solo okay and you could have been waiting for a message from a corporation a large entity maybe even governmental entity uh agency and you're keeping this news to yourself it's going to be a time where you feel very high self-esteem you could want to take loved ones out you could want to be around people you could want to um share the wealth you could get a new home there's some monumental shift change for you aquarius let's see but you're you're keeping the details of it your plans to yourself too the two of swords, something you don't see, you didn't see. It says that if you do reconcile with someone, please make sure the both of you have a plan of cooperation. This will not work if there is no cooperation. Somebody's got to be the leader and then there's a follower. There's a head of the ship and then there's the crew or the co-captain. It says that a relationship, a close relationship excuse me, broke down. There was a breakdown in communication because of lack of understanding and, and learning how to compromise with one another. Uh, no cooperation. It was a tug of war. It was a power struggle. Somebody was trying to be the boss. The other person was being a boss. It was two boss in the relationship. Not going to work. We can't have, you know, there has to be some Indians. Everybody can't be a chief. So who's going to be the Indian? Um, so it's saying that there's opportunity for reconciliation, but it will not last if there isn't a clear plan, path to making it work, to understanding, to cooperation, to compromise. It says that right now, the both of you felt like it was best to not make a decision maybe just walk away from the decision and then come back to it so it was like an open end decision or it was the door is still open on this you know the jury is still out okay lastly what do we want to tell the aquarius okay so i just they said they clarify great fortune okay let's see we're going to clarify great fortune Clarify great fortune. Thank you for clear. Okay. 
So we got the chariot, we got the page of pentacles and the hermit. Okay, so something about you and somebody, look at somebody's birth chart. Look at your birth chart. Look at something in terms of astrology, astronomy, the stars aligning, perfect timing to move forward, to go in a new direction, to chart a new path. There will be victory. Be consistent in whatever it is you're doing, whatever it is you're presenting to the world, especially if it's something about astrology, astronomy, uh, maybe even tarot card, um, psychic abilities. Um, yeah, because the page of pentacles is the tarot. Uh, learning something it says that there's a great fortune behind you learning something get getting under some type of mentorship tutelage going to school having a shift in uh, personality and perspective personal philosophy having this self discover going on a self-discovery journey is going to bring you great fortune you will be the scholar the hermit the wise one it says, look at past experience, draw your answers from there. It says, you already know what the answer is. You're just looking for outside validation. Some of you are looking for a yes or no from something else or someone else, but you already know what the answer is. Some of you need to be consistent, diligent, studious about whatever it is you, in are, you are embarking on. Ha understand growth, you know? Okay, uh, last cards for Aquarius. I do want to tell the Aquarius. The magician, you are the magician. A lot of you are acting in your masculine energy. The magician is masculine energy. Anytime you are thinking, you are planning, putting things into um, fruition uh, or instituting anything that is masculine. And some of you are acting in your masculine energy and you're trying to bring something out of your mind space, out of your hand space into the real world, into 3D. So you're trying to bring your dreams, your aspirations, your, your hopes, your wishes into the 3D. Um, it says that you've got some uh, spark, some divine spark, some um, a flash of uh, inspiration from the divine here. And you're trying to bring your hopes, wishes, and, and dreams into the 3D. You're taking matters in your own hands, being powerful. It says a very powerful man here also in the magician could be coming into your life. What is this about? The two of pentacles. Uh, wait, do the work. Queen of pentacles and the three of wands. Okay, so if you do the work here, you you it will turn into the queen of pentacles. You will, uh, you're going to have to cultivate something growth. Back to growth. Understanding growth. Growth doesn't happen overnight. Some of you you're too attracted to the result and not attracted to the process. Okay. So, uh, you want to bake a cake. Okay. Um, or you want a cake, a certain cake. Okay. But in order to, to have that cake, you have to make it, you have to bake it. You have to get all the ingredients together. You have to follow the instructions or you, maybe you know it, you know, uh, off the top of your head, but you have to go through the process of baking the cake, waiting for the cake to bake, to rise, waiting for it to cool and then eating it, you know? So some of you are more attracted to the end process of having the cake, eating the cake, but not attracted to actually the process of doing the work to have, to make the cake, to have the cake. So it says, uh, Aquarius, understand that this is a process of growth it is not overnight when you listen to these tarot card readings and you listen to these tarot card readers and they're speaking of nothing but good news coming into you that is a beautiful and a great thing do claim it do accept it but do understand that work needs to be done especially in the two of pentacles it says what you do in the two of pentacles will show up hopefully in the four of pentacles with you you'll have something solid stable something to look on or look on to something to hold on to a newfound uh, wealth sometimes in the four of pentacles but if you do nothing in the two of pentacles then you always be the two of pentacles juggling always trying to create or recreate or institute 
because you're trying to institute something here with the magician. So it says, be understand it's a process, okay? You're going to get to where you want to be. You're going to have abundance. You're going to have um, growth, expansion. You're going to have um, growth, expansion in all, uh, or all areas or aspects of your life will do well, but not before you go through the process, okay? From the one magician to the two pentacles, two of pentacles to the queen of pentacles, cultivating, still actively doing, but having something to actually look after, okay? It's like, you know, uh, starting a garden. Well, you, the garden doesn't grow overnight. But then when you have that garden going and it's up and it's, you know, it's producing fruit, you still have to look over it. And that's the queen of pentacles. So you'll still, ha you have something producing, but you're still going to have to look over it here. And you're still, you're going to have abundance, you know, with, with the three of wands. And you're going to have some, you know, growth, expansion, um, global sometimes. Wow. Yeah, the empress here. So it's funny how you have the empress and the queen of pentacles both talk about cultivation, growth. It says that you can bring this into the 3D, but not before the work. You have the idea, okay? Um, and, and you can actually make it happen, but, um, and there will be a level of abundance met here. Some of you are gonna have to go back to the drawing board here and maybe revise some plans for the future. Make sure that they are practical. Behind the scenes, the universe is working on your behalf. There's somebody also thinking about you and trying to bring you back into their life. I don't know if this is a person who there's somebody trying to bring you back into their life. Yeah. It could be a high level soulmate, twin flame type of situation here. They understand it's make it or break it time in terms of, you know, showing up for you and getting this relationship back. They want to come out of this hiatus and they feel like it was temporary anyway. Yeah, they're spying on you. Queen of Swords coming up again. Yeah, so um, there's also a lot of thought about finances. Yeah, lots of thought about finances. There will be cause to celebrate. Yeah, something is changing, shifting for you. Oh, completely. S stick to what you're doing. Just because you're not seeing immediate growth doesn't mean it's not working. It's like trying to grow your hair or grow a garden or grow anything. It's not going to be immediate. Um, I don't know why I'm, I'm just, you know, prompted to tell you that. Anyhow, Aquarius, you got some good stuff coming in for you. Stick to what you're doing. Don't shift course because you feel like it's not working, okay? Uh, continue to work it. It will work for you. All links are below, Aquarius, if you need to get in contact with me. If you want to get your own personal reading, if you want to ask a question, you can always text your question to the number below. It is the holiday season. You could give back by purchasing something from the Amazon wish list, or you could just donate. Let the exchange happen. You could buy me a coffee. The link is below. And keep in mind that I'm live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night. 9 30 p.m eastern standard time where i answer your questions i also do a collective reading so come for that thank you again take care many blessings to you